So the top three challenges, I think, are actually pretty consistent across most healthcare companies that I see. And the first one, undoubtedly, is talent. It is unique in order to be able to find people who have the scientific expertise or the technical merit, or even the commercial knowledge of being able to take unique therapies or technologies in healthcare to market. And I mean, think about it, like trying to find a synthetic biologist somewhere here, how many of them exist in this world who actually know how to work on this new product? So it's challenging to be able to find them and to bring them on. And do they even care to work as part of a startup or would they rather work in an academic lab? The second thing, which I think is really important that people forget, is the clinical trial process and defining endpoints. It really matters which indication are you taking and going to market with. Because some spaces are a lot more crowded. It may be easier, but does it even matter that you have proven in a very crowded space that your drug or therapy can work as well? So there is the whole science or perhaps field of indication sequencing of understanding which therapeutic area indication you take your technology and apply it at. And the third thing, which I think is understanding, it's, it's about looking at your valuation and fundraising, and it, it is important, your financing. Uh, I, I do think that the funds you work with and the people you work with who are your early investors and can make a huge difference. I think for every up that you have, you'll probably have like two down moments. And are your investors going to be with you along the way? And do you have the personality to weather those bad days? And I think it's a combination of like knowing and selecting the right people. And you're sometimes enamored by like the name of a person, but they may not be right for you. So the board member you have can make or break your company because it's literally like getting married to your investor. And so I think it is important. And so I think that is a third criteria or challenge or, that I think that startups face because they do have choices in the market today and, and they do have an ability to get money from, sometimes I've heard, Asia or Russia in, in this day and age. And part of it is, if it makes sense, go with it. If you think you have the right people on that end, then go for it. Because ultimately, it's not the dollars that count, but it's also the people at the other end that will make a difference in your financing as well.